Hey y'all, be reacting to listeners episode one, and I'll be starting this reaction in one, zero, go. And just in case y'all wondering, I'm watching it using my, I'm watching it utilizing my Funimation streaming account, in case y'all wondering where I'm watching it from. Alright. Oh, and I'm watching the subtitled version, in case y'all wondering. Yo, that mech looks pretty cool. Yo, that sound sound like a subtle heartbeat. <laughs> I mean, I could. S My guess is because that mech probably looked pretty gnarly. Although I could be completely wrong. Track one, live forever. So I wonder if. Okay. It's pretty interesting. You went from like place that really someone looked lavish to now a place that looks like a wasteland. <sighs> oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. The hell? <laughs> that's a pretty effed up way of, um... It's pretty effed up. Hmm. Doesn't seem like a great way of living, though, if the only thing you live for is to just work. So I'm already liking the subtle messages of the series so far, where it's... Got the message of going through too much of work is not a prosperous life. Hmm. <laughs> All right, this is like about something. Can't blame him if he has those kind of thoughts of leaving that place, though. Looks all run down. Hmm. He's saying that now, but I'm assuming if you were to see something epic in action, that would probably change his mindset. Or if he goes through a near life death and experience. It's probably gonna. Oh, he's gonna fall though. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually what happens to enemy characters when they try to reach for something from a fair distance. Oh. Wait, what's a girl doing there? <laughs> okay then, okay then. This is getting interesting now. <laughs> Can't blame my nanchan for thinking that though. I mean, yeah, her clothing style does look a lot more sensibly, stylistically fashionable. Uh, yeah, she's, I just, I wouldn't blame her if she kicked him. Yeah. He ventured way too deeply. <laughs> he deserved that. <laughs> Hmm. 
And he's smiling. He's like, I just saw something pleasing. That that kick was worth it with the face he's making. <laughs> oh. The amnesia plot point. Now, there, there's two ways it could go. Usually... <laughs> okay, that's actually a good mindset to have. Better to be optimistic than to be pessimistic about the circumstances. Because worrying about it too much isn't going to make much of a difference. <laughs> He's closing the physical distance way too much. <laughs> Although I can't blame him, it's probably the most interesting thing he's had a run in in his life. Again, he's breaking the physical distance a bit too quickly. <laughs> well, that's kind of messed up. That's like excuse. I mean, he can just explain the situation calmly, but then again, I mean, Britannia doesn't seem like the type to be able to do quick thinking at a moment's notice. Which I wouldn't blame him. This is the first time he's in this type of situation. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh. Okay, that explains... That puts the context into the explosion, then. What he's saying is the correct thing from a moral standpoint, but I also see the mayor's standpoint too. Since he is much older, he probably witnessed first down first hand the fallout, probably trying to build the economy from the ground up. And going by that, he's probably living there when it was prosperous, so he could probably contrast between how it was back then and how it is currently at the moment. So that's all with the Maris hatred of players. I honestly don't blame him that much. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Can feel the heat right now. And I like how she's misunderstanding. Whoa! <laughs> he thinks he wants, he wants to stick out his yawning and do some 18 plus things. Oh. Dude, he could have just warned her. <laughs> oh, man, I love her. I love her. <sighs> she was probably like, having the knock saying, silly me. And thinking he had those these type of intentions, because that's what she was probably thinking. She was probably thinking he was interested in these. Hmm. Huh. I actually like that character goal, and it makes sense too, considering that. 
them first monologue when he was like talking about how the only thing they do is war. So it's nice to get to see his aspirations come out in a bit of natural exposition. I mean, the suitcase looks pretty. <laughs> hmm. Okay, then. Yeah, I'm actually with her there. Nothing wrong with the passion at all. Oh. Sure, we can have a mechanic kind of role, and that could actually have the actual interaction between the two feel completely natural, too. <laughs> And I like how that sets up in a character arc for him because he's lacking confidence. Sets up an arc where he's likely gonna grow confidence as the series progresses. Yeah, he's acting a bit too passive right now. Yeah, I'm actually with her. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to expand his horizons more. Because he's putting an own cap on his potential. Oh, okay, there's no way he could say no to that. <laughs> no, you should go with her. That's his mentality, but... If someone puts their mind to it, though, they can do a lot. Because in life, a lot of people have humble beginnings. Ah. And I could see why she. She doesn't have her memories. And additionally, she probably just wants to do something in her life that has meaning to herself. So I could see why she was angered. Yeah, that's all. That's essentially what I was thinking, too. Maybe he's the type where if he's pinned in the corner, if someone, he, someone cares about his pin in the corner, he'll actually flare up. If there's like a catalyst. Hmm. Huh. All right, this sister's cool. I like her level-headedness and maturity. Come on, Echo, dude. Well, okay, I can understand too. The best choice for him would be to go for it with her, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to let go of what you're used to, what you're comfortable with at a moment's notice, too. But honestly, though, I think you should go just because he'll be able to express and utilize his passions more, and that'll make him a stronger individual.
He's thinking about it. Those eyes. Hmm. Come on. You know what to do, Ak. Sounds like an explosion. Oh, Kevin. All right. Jeez. Yeah, those things look hella creepy. And it just took one second. He just on a whim smashed the house. Oh. <laughs> Now he's gonna have like he's gonna have no choice but to step it up, even if he doesn't want to. To and that's that's really the way. <laughs> okay, now the mirror's just being a salty ass paranoid mofo. I'd say the monument has any. I'd say the left has more importance than the monument. And I actually like this sequence there. It shows you that Echo is willing to risk his life. Even if there's a high risk of it turning out bad for him. And I like it because this is kind of foreshadow that he'd do something like this when he talked back to the mayor. You know, I like that slow mo too. Aww. Maybe he'll be able to actually activate. Activate. Wait, well, what's that flashing light? Okay, I'm loving this. I'm loving where this is going. Although that is some perfect, perfect coordination there. <laughs> she must have been really fast to be able to jump quicker with the momentum of him falling. I love the way she says audience. <laughs> Although I'm going to assume these are probably going to be low level earless because since this is the first episode, I'm assuming it's going to be way stronger earless than these. <coughs> Sorry. Oh. She's definitely putting her all into it. Dang! <laughs> uh, hopefully she can do that beam thing again.
Jeez! And that's just with the power of one player. <laughs> and I like how they just emphasize the power. Well, look how the whole shock we've just went around the city. It's a nice portrayal of power. Wait, does that imply that he's gonna go with her? Oh, that's cute. That's a cute name. They should definitely ignore that and go for their dreams. Oh uh, yeah, this guy's gonna be thoroughly disappointed. Uh, poor dude. <laughs> You know, accidents happen. That monument was just a, in, a unforeseen consequence. <laughs> I love how they ran away. <laughs> okay, this episode was great. I loved it. I'm already a wow. I'm already a nine point two five out of ten. All right, now I'm gonna just uh, watch the ED. <laughs> oh man, Whew. this is hype. This is lit. I like the ED, even though it's just the uh, multiple drawings with the camera panning. It has a unique and beautiful art style with a nice song that really makes this ED fit. I like it. <laughs> I'm assuming all these characters being shown off are also other players too. I'm loving the character designs. Pretty nice. And it also seems to have like a diverse set of characters too. Alright. Cool. Alright, hopefully there's a PV or an after credit scene. Yes, it's an after credits. Oh man, oh man, I cannot wait to see us. <laughs> oh, okay. At least he's not. I thought he was gonna be angry. Never mind. It's cool. I actually layered the mayor more. Surprisingly, just a small amount of bits he was in. It's pretty memorable. Oh my. Oh snap! Alright, this PB looks... Alright, looks like it's still gonna have the cool animation quality of the first episode. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay then, never mind, it's not gonna be that easy. She never encounter. Oh. Whoa. It looks like this one's gonna escalate the stakes even further. <laughs> okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. First episode got my interest, but this PB absolutely took my attention. Alright. Wow. Now, as for what I really love specifically about this episode, what can I say? I loved almost everything. Like, the animation quality, it popped. 
the bits of CG flowed pretty well because when there was CG, it was utilized on the Mac. So, it actually works because whenever CG animations used on anything, if it's say on a car, a Mac, it feels natural. Because Macs for the most part have to have heavy looking movements anyway. And then the ELS, since they looked like otherworldly creatures, it also fits there too when they're rendered utilizing CG. But I like how everything else is hand drawn, it looks beautiful, it looks gorgeous. And additionally, I love how they kind of these like the hair move, nice facial expressions. So from an animation art, glorious. From a character standpoint, great. Because you have Eka go through some character development. He was kind of meek at the start, but he's gained bravery towards the end. And for Mu, I like her energetic nature. Cannot wait to see how she's going to develop as an individual. And the mayor, surprisingly, was a nice character, too, where we get to see why he had disdain for players. But then he lined up at the end. So there was a lot of nice character moments. Every sequence in this episode was pretty dang interesting. So from a story standpoint, episode did great. And recommend any of y'all haven't seen this to check it out. I loved it. So anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on listeners episode one. Be sure to comment on your thoughts on how I feel about Miraction in the comment section below. Share the video, rate it, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great and safe day, y'all. Bye-bye.